Hey everybody, this is Mark the Game Shark here with another collection video. Now it's a collection video per se because um, I've been seeing uh, a lot of people do this video where they do their um, childhood NES collection or any said collection that they do. It's been mostly NES. So I've uh, first person I saw do this video was uh, Captain Algebra. And I asked him, I was like, is it all NES? Because that's all I see. Like, can it be any other system? He's like, yeah, it can be any system that you want. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So um, I decided to make this into like a, a collection video, like series of mine. Which I think would be pretty neat talking about all the games I had like way back in the day, which I still have. Um, unfortunately, we're going to start with the NES, but that's the one only system I sold all of my NES stuff to Funko Land back in the day in order to fund my uh, Sega Saturn. So I've been going through trying to figure out what I had. Now, fortunately, I found, I think, everything um, that I had back in the day. Um, as I was actually gathering things to make this video, I realized there was one game I don't have. Which was like it boggled my mind, and that game is uh, RC Pro Am for the NES. I'm like, how the hell do I not have that game? I could have sworn I had that, but yeah, I looked and I don't have it. So I, I'm gonna have to pick that one up. That's the only game I could think of. Everything else is here, all accounted for. And there was actually a game that I added while just gathering all these, which was uh. Operation Wolf, which I'm like, how the hell did I not remember that game? That game I played the hell out of back in the day when I was younger. And I actually beat it. I played it so much, I actually like was able to beat it. Now I probably can't even get past like the third level. <laughs> so, so yeah, guys. Um, yeah, so I it was uh, Captain Algebra. I saw do it. Um, plenty of other people. Um, do you nerd? Um, um, who else? About up every everyone um you can just search on youtube um so yeah I'll just put uh i'm just gonna put captain algebra's uh link in the description because since he's the first one i saw do it i believe um was it mega dan 29 or was it he's in the was it he the one that originated i don't know but um who knows either way this is gonna be like a series i'm gonna do on my channel and uh, we're going to start with the NES, uh, as best as we can. <laughs> so hopefully this is everything. Um, I may be missing something. I don't know. If it, if I do, I'll probably put uh, a, um, a message in the description stating that, Hey, by the way, after recording this, I forgot about this game. Or whatever. But um, enough rambling, so let's get on with the collection. I think I have like 27-ish games here. So first up is obviously the game packing game. That's Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. So yeah I have so much fond memories of this. When I got this my dad and I played this every night. It was like oh it was so great. Um, yeah it's and the game still hold up to till to, to today surprisingly. And the next up this was actually we uh we ended up buying this for my dad, and that was the chess master, since he loves playing chess. So him and I also played this game as well. And it's still a fun game. And then uh, my parents surprised me with this one, and that is Super Mario Brothers 3. Oh my god. This was like crazy. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Compared to like the first game, like the jump in graphics and detail i was like amazed and i i i was able to beat the heck out of this game um growing up i never actually played through all of the levels like i played through some but i mostly did the warp wrestle i would play through like the first two levels get to like area three and then warp to level eight and then beat that and then i beat the game <laughs> that's how i used to do it back in the day but um yeah, this is such a great game. Next up, we have another game that we uh, bought for my dad. That was a 
Top Gun, the second mission. I don't know why we never got the first one. I don't know why we just bought the second one. But, um, yeah. Top Gun, the second mission. And then next up, my, my Nana brought me this. Um, and it's funny. I thought, like, this game, like, I, you know, like, it's your grandparents. You're like, oh, what? They're not going to give you anything good, you know? Like, socks or something. And she ended up uh, getting me uh, The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> and I love this game. Oh, my God. My dad and I played this for hours. We never actually beat it, unfortunately, together. But it was so much fun playing this back in the day. Trying to, like, find all the secrets and everything. Get all the um, pieces of the Triforce. Oh, such a great time. But, yeah, I, thought, I find that funny that I was like, I was like, oh, shoot, this game's probably going to suck. I was like, I never heard of this game. And here it's like the greatest franchise still to this day. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, next up, and another game she bought me was uh, Mega Man 3. <laughs> Again, a great franchise that still holds up to this day. I thought it was going to be a piece of shit. But this game I really loved, Mega Man 3. It took me forever to beat it, though. Oh, my gosh. Once I beat it, I was like, I was like, this game's easy. Then next up, we got The Hunt for Red October. Now, this is a funny game. Um, this game was tough. And I still haven't beaten it to this day. Um, funny thing is, so I, I used Game Genie on this. Like, I think, like, unlimited, uh, like, no damage and all that, just to try and, like, breeze through the game. And then you get to the part at the end where, like, you have, like, defuse the bombs and everything. And I just, like, didn't know where to go. And I, I'm pretty, pretty sure they're, like, pretty strict with the time limit. Like, you need to know what the fuck you're doing. You can't be dawdling around. And I, and the, the timer went off. It was like, game over. I was like, oh, my game genie fucking found me. I'm like, I think I got a game over. I'm like, what the fuck? See, I, I still haven't beaten this game. I should go back to this game, actually. Maybe try to beat it without the game genie. I don't know. But it's a, it's a pretty neat game. Very tough, though. Next up, we got Mock Rider. Oh, this is a classic game. No one ever talks about this game, like, ever. I don't know why. I've, I enjoyed this game. It gets challenging towards the later levels, but... Yeah, great game. Classic black, black box game. Next up, we got Captain Skyhawk. I think, like, uh, my aunt gave this to, like, both me and my cousin. I was like, oh, wow, we lived for Christmas one year. And I was like, oh, wow, we got the same game. <laughs> I was like, well, that kind of sucks, because now we can't, you know, trade games. So I was like, oh, oh, you have the game. Oh, want to trade? <laughs> we have the same game. What the hell's the point? <laughs> we can't expand our library. So I thought that was kind of, uh, like, really odd. And also my... My neighbor, he was my best friend at the time, he got this game as well, which is really weird. The same Christmas, too. So, Captain Skyhawk, still enjoyable. I, I think I beat this, like, last year or the year before. So, still a fun game. I hate those chase sequences. They're such a nerve-wracking pain in the ass. Then next up, we got Jurassic Park on the NES. Not as good as uh, the Genesis version. The Genesis version, my cousin said, I was blown away. I'm like, man, that's way better than this shitty Nintendo <laughs> copy I have of the game. But this is still a decent game. Um, I suck at it now. But I used to be a pro at this back in the day. Next up, we got my, you know, my all-time favorite NES game, Dragon Spirit. Now... Back in the day, I only had this, uh... Oh my god. It's trying to sound like back-in-the-day gamer. <laughs> Saying, back in the day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, Dragon Spirit, the new legend, I only had the... The, um, the game only, because I went to the one game store, used game store at the... Back in, back in the day, was VGE was called, uh, short for Video Game Exchange. 
I don't know if anyone remembers that uh, company. They, I think they were like competing with uh, Funkerland. I always went to VG. You either had VG or Funkerland, and I always went to VG because um, my my friend, my best friend, lived down the street. He always went there, so I always used to always go with him there. But I got Dragon Spirit loose at the time. I think that was my first. Maybe it might have been my first loose game. Like, getting a game just loose, not complete in box or anything, which I thought was kind of weird. I was like, ooh, I never got an incomplete game before. But yeah, but this is complete, which is nice. Next up, and of this, the same uh, VG trip, I also got Demon Sword. Because my uh, older friend in our older house had this game. My uh, friend uh, Jake. And we used, we used to play the hell out of this game. And I got it loose again. But now I have it complete. Which is nice. And this is another, I think, I would say, hidden gem on the console. No one ever talks about this game. This is a fun one. Next up, we got Rampage. So, this, what can you say about Rampage? Come on. Everyone knows what command page is. I'm not going to waste your time on that shit. Next up, we got Cobra Triangle. This is a classic, too. Some people... I've seen some people like, stream this a couple times. But look at that. Like, I like how I keep the price stickers. Like, wow, seven bucks for a complete game? Yeah, good luck finding that today. And uh, next up, uh, RC Pro-Am. What the fuck? I don't have it. Next up, we got Swords and Serpents. This is a fun uh, dungeon crawler. I remember um, I was playing it like really late when my I think my cousins were sleeping over, and I was in the password screen. I entered like random ass because like, the password was like twenty nine hundred characters. I was just, so I was like, huh? Let me like. I entered like a, I don't know if I did like all Z's or if I did like a bunch of like random numbers, but it took me like the level like like halfway into the game. I was like, holy shit, <laughs> how'd that happen? <laughs> you know, no internet or anything back in the day. I was like, oh shit. So I, I had to like kind of reverse engineer like what the hell I put in, and I actually figured it out, and I uh. Wrote it in the manual, which I still have my original manual. That's out of all my Nintendo stuff, I have the original manual for this. Unfortunately, I don't know where the fuck it is. It was. I had it on the shelf. I don't know if I moved it in the closet. I don't know, it's, it's somewhere around here. I was going to show that, but unfortunately, I can't. So, Swords and Serpents. All right, lay a stack here. Oh my god, I hope this isn't too long. 13 minutes, okay. Hopefully I'll be done by, by 20 minutes. Tetris, this was a game we bought for my dad back in the day. I mean, what can you say more about Tetris? I'm not going to talk about it. Next up, Shadowgate. Oh man, I used to... This I never... I mean, I back in the day, I, I could never beat this game. Um, it's very... Uh, it was like it was pretty challenging, but I remember I used to troll my cousin. He used to be scared of the uh, the death. Um, I don't know if that's gonna focus. The death when you uh, figure there when you would die, and I remember uh, in between us moving, we lived with my grandparents, and we were playing this game, and <laughs> I would like. Do something on purpose to die. I'd like, like touch the torch or whatever with my hand, and engulf myself in flames. I was like, and I would be like, "Hey, Al, look, yeah, let's continue onward." And then they'll show the picture of death, and he'd like run out of the room, like crying. <laughs> that shit was funny. He's like, oh, "I just too scary." So, <laughs> great times. So, a shadow gate. Hopefully, this shit doesn't fall over. Next up, we got Monster Party. This is a goofy ass game. Um, yeah, it's a scream. Apparently, I remember uh, when I bought this off eBay. 
to get back in the collection. I was like so excited about this game. I fucking cut myself with the goddamn scissors opening the box for this. Um, I'm like, oh, jeez. <clears throat> Next up, we got RBI Baseball, which my uh, best friend Frank ended up giving me on one of my birthdays. He was like, here, have a RBI Baseball. I'm like, okay, cool. This game's a, a classic. It's still a classic. Um, well, the... Uh, oh. But this one I have complete in box. I'm like, I had loose from originally. Next up we have Kirby's Adventure. Oh my god, this game was amazing when I got it. I was so obsessed with this game. I was like, wow, this is like pretty impressive with the graphics and the sounds. Oh my god. And it would save and you could save your progress. Oh, you don't have to leave the Nintendo on. If you want to continue your game, like, whoa, how revolutionary on this game. But, yeah, I, I loved Kirby's Adventure. So, so much fun playing this. Funny thing is, like, I had trouble getting through this game, but I could beat Mega Man 3, like, with my eyes blindfolded. All right, next up we have, this is a game, Genie. This is my original one, like the original one I, I the one I had was the gold version. This is the black version. I I think I might try to hunt down the gold version and maybe the book for it. I don't have the book, which you don't need. You can just go on GameFAQs to get all the uh what is it, the codes for this. So there's that. Next up we got Xenophobe. Oh my god, this game is so much fun. I remember my, my copy was always buggy. This shit used to piss me off. <coughs> like, I always... Funny thing is, is before I, like, found out about, like... Not even Brasso, but, like, I knew about the alcohol swabs. Before I knew that, I used to just use water to clean these games. <laughs> I would just, like, make, like... I mean, I would... Not fully wet, I would just, like, have a damp Q-tip. And I would go in and clean the game. But yeah, this game was like always buggy as shit. Next up we got The Addams Family. Which is a tough game. I've never beaten it. I don't know if anyone that has beaten this game. It's a pretty interesting game. I got, I got far in the game. Never beat it though. Next up we got Fantasy Zone. This game's a, a cute em up classic. And i never beaten this game either. Oh, jeez. What kind of gamer am I? Then we got The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends. Oh, man, that's a mouthful. And there we go. Got this one. I actually, I beat this all the time back in the day. That's a, that's a fun one. I don't hear anyone... Talking about that, I think uh, James Angry Video Game Nerd did like a sort of a video on that, like how shitty the controls are, which they are. They are very floaty, and the hit detection sucks. But it's not bad. Then we got the infamous Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which um, when I was watching uh, J Love's video, I I she she was going watching her video, and she was going through this, and she showed this. I was like, oh shit, that's not on my uh, list. Why not? I, of course I knew I had I had this game back in the day. So there you go. So thank you, J-Love, uh, Jen, for uh, reminding me that I had that game back in the day. Next up, and la lastly, we have Operation Wolf, which I just realized <laughs> I had this game. Well, gathering all this stuff to show you guys. This game was, was, was so much fun. Oh my god. I never used the uh, the zapper on this. I think you can use the zapper. I can't remember. I don't know. If anyone remembers, I mean, like, I could get the manual, but then that would be another five minutes. I'm not going to do that. So if anyone remembers, let me know. Or I could just look after I record the fucking video. But yeah, this is a this is a classic. 
And there you have it, guys. Wow, well, 20 minutes, I guessed it. 20 minutes, all those 20-ish, 6-ish games that I had from back in the day. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a series. I don't have um, a whole lot of different consoles that I had back in the day. Like, what do you have? I have Genesis, I have Game Gear, and I have Sega Saturn. I think that's that's it. From games I had like back in the my youth, I I could do the R Zone, but I only had the game, so I already did an R Zone excuse me collection video. So it's really no point. What am I gonna do? May I have a five second video? Oh, I have Daytona USA for the R Zone. I didn't have the game because some cockface stole it out of our van. When we went grocery shopping. And I just had the game like in my pocket. <laughs> so fucking idiots. And I think that was back when uh, they didn't have individual cartridges you could buy. I think they didn't do that till the second year that uh, console was released. So so yeah, there you go guys. Um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Maybe you uh, have some insight of games that you might... Want to check it out? Like, oh, wow, I didn't hear about that game. That game sounds rather interesting. So, yeah, there are all the games I have. I I gotta get RC Pro-Am. I can't believe. That's oh, driving me fucking crazy. I can't believe I don't have that in my collection. That game is, like, common as dirt. Oh, boy. Unbelievable. Well... So I'll get that, and then I'll have all my, like, childhood games physically back in the collection. And I gotta find that stupid manual. I don't know where that goddamn manual went. Uh, always something. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Um, let me know uh, what system you want me to do next. Either, um, like I said, it's either Sega Genesis... The Game Gear or the Sega Saturn. So there's your three options. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that's it. Because I'm not going to go through like, you know, mid high school ish when I got the N64 and the Dreamcast. I'm not going to go over that. I don't know. I mean, let me know what you guys want. You know, like, where would the youth timeline end? Is it after? High school? I don't know. Let me know. Um, if 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 that's the case, then yeah, I guess I could add the Dreamcast collection, the PlayStation Two, and the Xbox, and the place yeah, and the PlayStation, and the GameCube, because they're basically all and and my Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. Damn, it's a lot of systems added. <laughs> So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't know. So, <laughs> either way, I'm still going to do those three systems because they're, they're the earlier ones I've owned. But enough rambling. I'm going to put this stuff away and go to bed. <laughs> it's getting late. So, thank you guys for checking out the video. Um, leave a comment if you played any of these games or if you want to check out some games that I've mentioned that you've never heard of before. Or, um, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Alright guys, this is uh, Mark the Game Shark signing out. Have a good day.